Hello, and welcome to this short Space Engineers tutorial. This tutorial is designed to get you up to speed with how to put things onto button panels, how to group objects, how to put things into the D-pad hotbar of the cockpit, how to make a group of wind turbines that you can turn on and off, and how to put your mining drills on a mining ship and make them work with the right and left triggers. And it's all down to knowing how to use groups. And on the PC, the G menu. On the Xbox, we have something different. So, let's have a look at these hangar doors. At the moment, they're powered, but they won't do anything. Now you can use a panel like this on a control panel. And if you just simply press X, it will open the control panel menu. Now you use up on the D-pad and down to move around the menu like this. But if you want to move across to a subgroup, you use the left stick. This is the golden rule in Space Engineers. You use the left stick to move into submenus and when you're in the submenu, you can use the D-pad to scroll up and down. What we want is to put these hangar doors into a group. So you hold down the left bumper on the controller and press down on the D-pad and you'll see that I have highlighted the three hangar doors. Now without doing anything else, press right on the D-pad once, twice, until you get to block group. Once on block group, press A and then name it something like Hangar Doors. Hangar. Let's call it Hangar D. Then press down on the D-pad, then press A to save. We now have a group. Now we have a group, we can do things with this group. So by backing out of the menu with B, we can go to our fresh control panel. Now all you have to do is press X and you'll see that a new window opens up. Tap the right bumper to get to groups and use the bumpers to navigate up and down the group until you get where you want. There's the hangar doors. Press A and choose open and closed. Now press B and B again. And now when we press X, as if by magic, the hangar doors will close and open. Of course. So, moving on. Same deal, we can make our wind turbines turn on and off by making a group. So once again, go here, scroll down until you see wind turbines. Now if you can't see them, one of the best things to do is hit left trigger, right trigger, and press A on the search bar and then type just a few letters of the name of the object you're looking for. In this case, wind turbines. Now press down on the D-pad until we're on the wind turbines. Hold down the left bumper and scroll down with the D-pad until you've selected them all. Then right with the D-pad to block group and call them what you want. Call them Bob if you want. I'm going to call them wind wind turbines. There we go. We hit save. Now we have a group of the wind turbines. We can go to the second button. Press X on it because it's unused. Go down to groups with the right bumper. Press down on the D-pad. Right on the D-pad. Select wind. Toggle block. On off. Back out. Look at the wind turbines. They're all lovely and moving now. Turn them off. 
and they slowly go. Now you'll notice there's a problem. Oh dear. Base has no power. Because I've turned all my power generation off, and without the panel, I can't turn them back on. Never fear. Space Engineers has got you covered. Simply go here. Press X. Scroll up on the D-pad. Find wind. Toggle block. On. Ta-da! Power restored. So, that's your basic tutorial on how to put things into groups. Now though, we have a mining ship. We need to use these drills. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. But you're going to want to do it as you would do if you had a mining ship. So we get into the cockpit. Now, we open up with our inventory button. Control panel. There is a shortcut as well. You can actually, if you so desire, hold down both bumpers and press the inventory button. You'll go straight to control panel. And you want to look at your drills. Now, by now you should know how to navigate the menus, but down on the D-pad, hold left bumper, select your three drills, and make them into a group called Drills. Like I said, there's a couple of methods of doing this. It depends entirely on what you want to do. Um, in my case, I'm going to show both. So we come out of that, now we've got our drills group. But they won't do anything. You can hold down the right trigger and the left trigger and the drills will still do nothing. This is because you need to assign them, like we did with the panel, to a hotbar button. But it works a little differently in ships. Hold down the direction you want on the D-pad, in this case up, and it will open the toolbar config menu. Again. You can see all these lovely things. There's your hangar doors. So we could control the hangar doors if we wanted from the ship. What we're looking for, drills. We could put a drill. But what we want, first of all, to show you how groups of drills will work, is right bumper down. And so we hit groups, then hit A for drills, and we want toggle block on off. So now, when we press up on the D-pad, all our drills activate. But we have no control over those drills whatsoever. And the cockpit shaking, potentially inviting the eye of Lord Clang. So let's turn that off. So, that's one way of doing it, but we don't want to do that. We want control light with the hand drill. We want to use the right trigger to, dr to drill out all and we want to use the left trigger to drill without collecting any ore whatsoever. So, again, the direction, this time left, tap the right bumper, but we want to go to block tools, because our drills are on block tools. Now if we select that, we are not told to use on or off, it just goes straight back to the cockpit. Now when you press left on the D-pad, you will have the drills selected. Now you have control with the right trigger. There you go, look. Right trigger held down, drills are spinning. Let go. And the left trigger. The left trigger will, again, use the drills, but you can carve out an asteroid base with this, given enough time, without collecting any stone or any ore whatsoever. And that is pretty much how you assign anything to the cockpit. So, for instance, if I wanted to assign the hangar doors, push right on the D-pad, tap down, scroll through to groups, push right, see the hangar doors, press A, scroll down with the D-pad, open and closed, press A again, and then once more, magically, we can control the hangar doors from the cockpit of the ship. This is because the cockpit of the ship is connected to the actual grid that this small test platform is on. 
you wouldn't be able to sort of do a remote controlled hangar door without messing around with some things uh, potentially having it so that you landed on a connector connected that connector so your ship was part of the grid and then you could control the hangar doors like that so uh, there you go that is pretty much how to group things how to put things on a ship and one more thing say we don't want those drills to turn on like that or to control the hangar doors you hold down on the d-pad press x and you will remove the shortcut like so just leaving you with your controllable drills or whatever other things you have on your cockpit and that is pretty much it for this particular tutorial stream uh, this is really just a test to see if it all works and thank you for watching